With your gifts of time, talent, and treasure for the annual Diocesan Appeal, you are supporting the mission of the Church. Your generosity enables us to keep Christ present in all aspects of our sacramental life. We are the Catholic Church of San Jose. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I was ordained a priest 27 years ago to serve the people of God. Three years ago, Pope Francis appointed me to serve as your bishop. I'm constantly energized by the faith of our people as we continue growing together in faith as a diocesan family. I've traveled throughout the diocese and I've witnessed the strength of your faith, the growth and development of our parishes and the diocese as a whole is a great joy to witness, and your participation and support have been invaluable. Our annual diocesan appeal funds our ministerial needs, and as your bishop, I know that we will be able to meet our ADA goal as another opportunity to grow in faith and in union with Jesus Christ. Jesus is truly present in the Holy Eucharist, I therefore invite you to come around the altar and experience the joy of the gospel as it is lived in the local church. We are all called to unite as people of faith to build a foundation upon which future generations of Catholics will benefit. The annual Diocesan Appeal unites us as a community growing together in faith. As Catholics, we are called to share our time, talent, treasure, and prayer. Your gifts support the efforts of the new evangelization here at our Diocese of San Jose. Evangelization has always been an important part of the Catholic Church. Following the call to bring people closer to Jesus, the Office of Faith Formation promotes lifelong formation for children and adults by providing retreats, certification, and ongoing support for the formation of ministers. The team also supports the faith formation ministers at our parishes with resources and tools. The Institute for Leadership and Ministry forms parish leaders by providing a foundation in Catholic theology, spirituality, education, and training in leadership for those who demonstrate the ability or the potential to serve as leaders in our parishes. Our youth and young adults are the future of our church. Youth and young adult ministry ensures that our middle and high school youth and young adults ages 18 through 39 years old have the opportunity for evangelization and an encounter with Christ through the sacraments, prayer, formation, ministry, and service. Our core team supports parish staff and volunteers working with youth and young adults with formation opportunities and program support. The Growing Together in Faith Annual Appeal looks to fund our most pressing and current needs to help the diocese to continue to grow in our ministries, our education, our faith, now and in the future. The Office of Life, Justice and Peace promotes the dignity of the human person through education, advocacy and prayer. The Office offers opportunities for the faithful to grow in understanding of Catholic social teaching, respect for life and racial justice, and advocates for the common good through public policy. This ministry also serves those who are incarcerated in jails and prisons, offering prayer, support, and hope to the inmates. Vocations are the foundation of our Church. We rely on our priests to say Mass and give us the Eucharist, celebrate our sacraments, and comfort us when we are sick or struggling. The Vocations Office helps individuals discern a vocation to ordained or vowed service to the Church, supports those exploring this call, provides training and education to those pursuing their vocations, and organizes retreats, resources, and events to promote and pray for vocations. The Office of the Vicar for Clergy promotes both the spiritual and physical well-being for all priests, deacons, and seminarians in our diocese. The Vicar for Clergy provides for the ongoing training and formation of our priests and deacons. This office also provides care, advocacy, and support for our retired priests after their many years of service to our diocese and communities. The ADA is your invitation to give a portion of what you have for the good of all in our community with the intention of serving the needs of this vibrant and diverse diocese. 
The many ministries funded by this appeal and the financial support to our parishes will be further enhanced through the generosity of all our people in this community of faith. It also gives parishes the opportunity to raise significant funds, as all funds raised over the parish goal are fully rebated back to the parish to fund local needs. Individual parishes have used the needed monies for plant restoration, debt reduction, church renovations, new facilities, parish services, and parish ministries. God has been guiding us every step of our journey. I want to express my deep gratitude for your prayers and financial support of our diocese, our parishes, and schools. We can evangelize only with the grace of God and your support of our ministries through your generosity in sharing your time, talent, treasure, and prayers. We're one family, one community, growing together in faith. The annual Diocesan Appeal is your invitation to join other Catholics in the diocese in our mission to build the Kingdom of God. With your generosity, we will continue to support each other in doing the work of Christ. What a beautiful example of that support in witnessing the chancery, parishes, and schools working together during the pandemic to serve the spiritual and personal needs of our flock. Your resilient faith is a great treasure in our diocese. I ask for your prayers that this ADA 2022 will be successful. Our diocese needs your help and financial support to continue the mission of Jesus Christ. We gather in every celebration of the Eucharist to be nourished by the gospel and the very body and blood of Jesus Christ. I invite you to join me as a sustaining donor to the ADA, giving support to our clergy, our religious, and lay ministers as they serve this and future generations of our diverse community, shining the light of Christ throughout Santa Clara Valley. May God continue to bless you and your families as we continue to journey together in hope while growing together in faith.